guys, it's Kayla here at La Terraza and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do your handprint mug kit. You have a couple different choices. There's the I Love Mom mug, there's the I Love Dad mug, and then there's also this one here that just has a heart on it and you can put your own message of whatever you want. I'm gonna show you how to, how to put a handprint on the mug so that it looks really nice and shows up really well, and also like thumbprints if you wanna do that as well. Your kit is going to come obviously with the mug that you choose. You're gonna get two brushes, there's a medium and a small detail brush. And then you're gonna get three light color blaze paints and then one dark color. So you're gonna get these three light and then one dark of whatever colors you choose. One thing you guys wanna keep in mind is that when you get your glaze paints, they are going to look much more light and pale than after they go in the kiln and get fired. So your colors here are gonna look really, really dull. When they fire, go in the oven and come back, the colors are gonna look really bright and it's kind of exciting to see how they look and change after they come back. So I'm gonna show you guys the steps. Oh, and sorry, I forgot one more thing. You're also gonna have a sponge. You're gonna get this little crescent sponge with your kit as well. So I'm gonna show you guys the steps so we can get started. All right guys, so with your mugs, you are going to leave your darker color aside. That is what you wanna use for your handprints and any writing that you're going to do. If you try to do your handprint in one of your lighter colors, it's not going to show up. So I have my light colors here. I have an orange and a yellow and a pink that I'm going to use. And if you're working with a younger child, like someone who maybe doesn't have that, that good of motor skills yet, they can really just take the light colors and just do patches all over the mug. And it still looks really nice and really bright with the color so they can really just literally go all over, do different patches. You can maybe take their brush away every once in a while and put the new color on it and they can just keep going till they fill it up. If there are any parts of your mug that you don't paint, they'll be shiny white when they're done too, so you don't even need to worry about having them cover everything. You know, if, if it's a little bit older, you can have them do designs or whatever they want, really. I think on this one, I'm going to do some kind of wavy lines. So you can just take your medium brush. It's always good to use a bigger brush wherever you can. And I'm just gonna make a wavy line and I'm just going to kind of go around, I'm gonna paint this little base part here too. I can go right over my letters that say I love mom because later we're gonna fill those in with a dark color anyway. And glaze paints can layer on top of each other, that's why we're doing our dark colors last because they show up nice and bright even on top of other paints as long as those other paints are nice and light. So I got my one nice wavy pink line here gonna wash this brush off in some water and then I'm just gonna dry it off a little bit I'm gonna take my next color and I'm gonna do another wavy line and I'm just gonna keep going until I cover the whole entire thing um, you really only need to do one coat on all of your colors but if you want those colors to look really really solid you can do two two layers but one layer looks just fine, especially with that bright handprint on top, then the handprint can really stand out. But you wanna go ahead, pick whatever design, or just do patches and cover your whole mug with your light colors first. All right, so I finished painting all of my stripes all over, but now I'm going to use a hair dryer on this and dry it before I do my next step. All right, so now I'm ready to do my handprint, and then of course I could do my writing after that as well. Obviously my hands are way too big for this mug. I'm still gonna show you how to do the handprint. It's just my hands gonna not quite fit on there all the way, but I'll give you some nice tips for how to do a good handprint on here. So you're gonna use your crescent sponge for this and of course your dark color. So I'm gonna get that over here. 
And uh, this paint, by the way, does not stain anything. It will not stain your clothes. It will not stain your tables. So if when you're doing this on your child's hand, if they swipe something or you know do that, it's not gonna stain. It will come out. So I'm gonna dip my sponge in this color here. Kinda gonna squish it down in there. And I am going to sponge it on my hand. If you paint it instead of sponging it, it's not going to look as solid or as nice. So sponge it on your hand. And unlike what I'm doing right now, you should also not do this directly over your ceramic piece because a lot of times paint will just go on there. But, you know, I'm breaking my own rules right now. Finish my last couple fingers. Make sure you just get that whole hand covered. And there we go. So again, cover that whole hand. Make sure you are using your darkest color for this part or else it just probably won't show. So I'm gonna take this. Now when you put your hand down, before you just plop it on there, Make sure that you kind of turn it, see which way, if, you know, if your kid's hand is really small, you can probably fit it straight up and down. If not, you're going to have to do this way. And uh, I'm going to do my best here with my big hand. Okay. Now, you can't just stop here. You have to go and press on that palm. Press it down. And also press the fingers where they, like, connect with the palm. And kind of, I press and kind of wiggle back and forth a teeny tiny bit. A lot of times when I do hand prints with kids, I tell them, think about it like your hand is covered in glue right now and you can't move your fingers because if they slide their fingers all around, it's not gonna look so good. So tell them, you know, your hand is glued, you can't move it, keep it down, okay? And then when you're ready, one of you should probably hold the mug and then you can lift off. And there's my giant hand print on my mug. I'm just gonna stick my finger, my thumb on here since whatever there we go it's actually not too bad and I'm all finished with doing my handprint now and you only do one layer with that do not paint over it you might notice like there's areas where you can see the color through leave it because it shows all the textures in the hand and it looks so nice when it's glazed you can like see the lines in their hands so even if it bothers you that it's a little bit see-through don't worry about that right now just leave it alone the way that it is and then if you want to go in <laughs> trying to figure out what hand I can use here if you want to go in and paint your letters that's something you're going to want to do with your smallest brush and I am going to just take that and my dark blue. And you know, you can just slowly, carefully fill in those letters with your darkest color. So that is how you guys do your handprints and you can go about painting your mugs. And remember guys, this paint does not stain. So if something happens and somebody gets paint on their shirt, it will not stay there. It'll come right out in the wash. It really just comes out with water.